The last time Shane Long wore a captain's armband, he was playing junior football at under 16 level. At the age of 26, here he was leading his country in the Aviva Stadium. Long was determined to mark his day with a goal. Loria made the save. The West Brom strikers' frustration there for all to see. Sporting the casual look and jeans, former Newcastle midfielder and now Georgia manager Tamuri Kitsbaya watched some casual defending from his side. That's a really dangerous ball. It's fallen short and long, taken down right on the edge of the area. And the referee's reaching for a card. It's red. Loria is sent off. Loria's replacement was a debutant celebrating his birthday. His first task, to face the free kick from James McLean. McLean was instrumental in the opening goal. His cross headed in by Richard Keogh a first international goal. Robbie Keane's introduction at the beginning of the second half meant a 125th cap, joint record appearance holder with Shea Given. He wasn't involved in the second goal three minutes after the restart. McLean assisted again, picking out Simon Cox at 2-0. For long, it was different keeper, same outcome. Richard Dunn made his first appearance in a year following a groin injury. Long was withdrawn, suspended for the Pharaohs game. He now has a wedding to look forward to. Three subs combined for the third. Aidan McGeady and Connor Salmon played their part. Guess who supplied the finish? Robbie Keane tucks it home. And the record goal scorer for the country gets another. Another followed. Sub Jeff Hendrick anticipated the pass and fed Keane for international goal number 56. Keane can now hold the appearance record outright if he plays in Friday's qualifier. Victory then would keep them in contention for Rio 2014. Paul Gilmore Sky Sports. I think uh, 